Hey guys, there's one thing I forgot to add in the review. It's the gameplay. Gameplay plays out the same. You pick up, you go out, you shoot people. Then you run out of bullets, you pick up another guy and you shoot more people. That's pretty much how the gameplay is. Alright, enjoy the review. Hey guys, this is Gamer Man. Today I'm going to do a review on Call of Duty World at War. Alright. First, let's start on talk about the story. Story. It's nothing special. All you do is, just, is that you fight Japanese people and you fight the German people, and pretty much all know what World, of, what World War II was all about. So I don't think there's any point in me going over that. So the story, the levels are fine, but the story isn't great because obviously the storyline has been done many times before. But the online though. Alright, the online, it is fun, I do like the online, I enjoy it a lot, but, well, it's pretty much the same thing as Call of Duty 4, except they added some new game modes, like, War, Ground War, and Capture the Flag, which I don't really know why the hell they even added that in there, but, yeah, so that's pretty much it. They didn't. There's nothing really new here besides the World War Two weapons. Weapons. And yeah. And on the PS3, no one really talks in this game, which doesn't really surprise me. Might be different. It's definitely different on Xbox Live though. But we're not even gonna get into that. Alright, the online. Okay, yeah, they did, they did, it's pretty much basically the same thing as Call of Duty 4, but, you know, it's pretty fun, actually, I mean, personally, I like, I like World of War 2 games better than, than Modern Warfare, Warfare, so, for me, I definitely like this game. And pretty much the class system, the same, blah, blah, blah. You kill people, you unlock stuff for your gun, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really that special. I don't think I really need to go over that. Alright, I guess I'll talk about replay value. Now, unless you want to go on go on adventure mode and earn some trophies, then honestly, I don't really think there's any point in even playing the story again. So, unless you're crazy about trophies, achievement points, or whatever, then yeah, you can pro then yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to go back on to the story and get them. But but if you don't really care about the cheats, yeah, you can actually unlock cheats for the story mode. But if you don't really care about that stuff, then there's really no point with playing the story then. And yeah. So I'm not so just like my Killzone 2 review, I'm pretty much gonna wrap this up quick. Alright, uh, I'll if you guys want a more detailed review on this game, go watch game trailers or some crap. But yeah. So I'm gonna give this game a uh, 8 out of 10. If you whether you have it on PS3 or Xbox, definitely check this game out. And that's it. I'll leave I'll leave this going for about one more minute. Or maybe. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Get back here, bastard. What? How did he not die? Oh, well. Well, I'll see you guys later.